So if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I saw a, uh, it was like a video going around. This girl was talking about Meron Skin Prep. And she was letting everybody know that it helps better than Milk of Magnesia. Even though I've never used Milk of Magnesia or anything to help control like all in my face. But she was like, this is it. So I decided to go on Camera Ready Cosmetics since I'm a pro member there. And I decided to purchase it and see how it worked. So on Friday, I posted uh, Let's See I Work during the day. And it's some things that I felt like that I can improve or I did wrong or things that I just felt like I need in my regimen. So today I did. I so hate when your camera just cuts off because you're looking like, what did I end on? What did I start on? But anyway, today's video is on Meron Skin Prep. I'm going to go out about my day. And I'm going to let you guys know, did it work for me? And I'm going to share with you guys for the next 30 days on Instagram, what am I doing? What am I, mix what am I mixing? What am I doing? Am I still using my same skincare regimen? Et cetera, et cetera. So let's get into this look, Meron Skin Prep. Let's go. So first things first, I'm going to start off with my skincare. I'm using the Dermalogica Active Toner. I wash my face off camera with the special cleansing gel. Right here, I'm going to add the Dermalogica Circular Hydration Serum, and this feels amazing on the skin. The next product I'm going to use is for my eyes. It's a Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. So for my moisturizer, I'm going to apply the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. This has SPF 50 in it and I'm so happy I added this to my skincare regimen. And the star of the show, Meron Skin Prep. Take a cotton swab, add a couple drops, and add it to your face wherever you're oily. And as you can see, I barely tapped on my forehead and my chin, very lightly. So now I'm just going to show you guys how I'm doing my makeup. So here I'm going to add the Anastasia's Brow Freeze. And you can add the Chocolate Dip Brow or the Auburn. Today I use Auburn. So here I'm using the P. P. Louise Rumor 5. So this is like an eyeshadow base and I just use that to crease my eyebrows and get everything perfect for my eyeshadow. So for my foundation today is the best NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Makayo. I love this foundation. So right here, we're just creasing our brows, making sure everything is nice and neat. So I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to blend everything out. The concealers today we're gonna use is butterscotch and cookie. This is butterscotch. 
And after that, we're gonna add the cookie right on top, right here. Right here is the Laura Mercier's honey. This is the uh, Makeup Forever Y45, the Velvet Skin Powder. I just add that wherever I added the Laura Mercier. Today's gonna be a light beat, so I'm not gonna contour. Right here, I'm just gonna add the Charlotte Tilbury Number no. 4 Powder. And just to deepen up my uh, cheeks a little bit, I'm going in with 50 Mocha Mommy. Right here, I'm just gonna like crease my cheeks a little bit with the Anastasia's Deep Peach. My blush today is Electric Bloom by Pat McGrath. We're gonna spray our face with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Spray. My highlight, of course, always the Nessa Myers Aura of Attraction. Today's lip, I tried something different, the NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Pencil. It's kinda on the hard side, but I still made it work. This is the Juvia's Place Mademoiselle Lipstick, along with Barely There Gloss. I was all over the place with this today, but this is the light look today. Right here, we're just gonna fix our brows with the Benefits 3.5, 3.75 brow pencil. And it's gorgeous. So I think I changed my lip like three times. If you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna see that I went from Rebel. That was a hot mess, I don't know. Maybe it's too bold and maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. But then I went to Honey Love. I just took out the middle, left the uh, Rebel around it, Mac Honey Love and went in with Fussy. And I think I just wanna ombre it out a little bit. There we go. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna see how did Maron stand up the whole day. So make sure you are following me on Instagram to see how my day went, where did I go, and we're gonna get right down to it. So I'll see you guys later. So my day is complete. I had my self-care day and I had errands to run today and I am done. So this is my final results on the Maron skin prep. Let's get into it. So as you guys know, my skincare is Dermalogica. I did everything I normally do step by step. Only thing that I applied today was the Maron Skin Prep right here in my nose area because that's where I tend to get oily with a cotton swab. After that, I put my makeup on, I went about my day. Now normally, I will be oily in here, 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 and here. But I was like, my skin is getting better because again, my skincare regimen has changed. So now it's only like in this area. And today when I say I have not blotted once, I love the way everything looks. This is definitely a go and I feel like this will last you a very long time because you don't need a lot. You just need a couple drops of wherever you need where you're all in. So again, I'm so glad that I heard about this on Instagram. I purchased mine from Camera Ready. If you're in Houston, Texas, definitely check out the MUA project. They're amazing, they also ship. And I will continue to keep this in my new makeup regimen. So if you have any questions about the uh, Meron Skin Prep, make sure you check them out on Instagram, because I know I don't have all the answers. <laughs> so other than that, thank you guys for joining me today on this video. Please take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.